Coral. I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for College of Health Professions at Walden University. Today I'll be talking about malignant melanoma and all-cause mortality in a multi-ethnic population. So I wanted to start off by giving you a little bit information about some of the risk factors of malignant melanoma and how ultraviolet rays are known risk factors. However, it's although the risk factors may be all known, it's less clear what happens after patients develop malignant melanoma. And so in this poster, uh, we had the intention to try to understand a little bit better about long-term effects of survivors of malignant melanoma. So, of course, it's been known that generally in the population, there have been significant declines in, in mortality rates from melanoma due to improvement in treatment. However, in certain age groups, um, especially um, 80 and above, um, it still continues to be a significant problem. And if we look further than um, in other countries, such as the United Kingdom, uh, there have been, in fact, increases, alarming increases in trends of malignant melanoma. Therefore, it's really important for us to better understand what happens after the development of this rapidly progressing cancer. As we know, um, the relevant prognostic variables can be indicated through the Bezel criteria. Um, in our study, of course, we were focusing more on the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey and looking at specifically between the years 2005 and 2010. And we wanted to make sure to follow up um, individuals into December of 2015. So um, there was an average of about um, seven years of follow up. Um, and all of the results and what we found was um, quite surprising in that individuals that had malignant melanoma and individuals that had any history of malignant melanoma had in fact a four times increased likelihood of mortality than individuals that did not have a history of malignant melanoma. And so this was quite striking and important, and this um, information should inform policy that looks at other types of factors, uh, social factors, poverty, and um, other models that um, would likely understand this excess mortality of individuals that are malignant melanoma survivors. Thank you for listening.